morning students today i am going to start a new lesson that is 3.1 god's greatest gifts let me introduce this topic we all know that god has given us so many priceless gifts like water air fruits beautiful nature and many more gifts that none can afford to live without is trees now think what would happen if there were no trees if there were no trees there would be no rain no crops no fruits nothing to eat and the most important it gives us the valuable oxygen to breathe here joyce kelmer is saying poems are made by fools like me but only god can make a tree it means anyone can make a poem but only god is there who can make a tree we human beings cannot make a tree there is only one god who can make everything and who has given everything to us now i'm going to read this chapter you just have to listen carefully i will explain after each paragraph trees are god's greatest gifts to man they are the largest living things on the earth they live longer than any animal most trees grow to more than 7 meters high the biggest trees are the giant sequoia of california these trees can grow to over 100 meters high they can measure 25 meters around the trunk the oldest trees are the californian pines some of them are more than 4500 years old here trees are god's greatest gifts to man trees are the most important and greatest gift of god to men why because without trees we cannot get any food so trees are the god's greatest gifts to man they are the largest living thing on the earth it means trees are the living things as we all know that trees are living things so they are the largest living thing on this earth they live longer than any animal animals life is not more than 15 years or more than 20 years hardly but trees life is more than 1000 years so most trees grow to more than 7 meters high most tree grows more than 7 meters high the biggest tree are the giant sequoia of california in california one tree a giant means very big very big tree is there sequoia sequoia means you can see this here sequoia a tree found in california usa it can live a long time and grow very tall again i am repeating wait mm-hmm. 
see here a tree found in california usa it can live a long time and grow very tall now see these trees these trees means this giant trees sequoia can grow to over 100 meters high can grow to over 100 meters high they can measure 25 meters around the trunk trunk means you can see this part is called trunk so they can measure 25 meters around the trunk the oldest trees are the californian pines pines you can see here pine means a tree with pale soft wood used for making furniture again pine means a tree with pale soft wood used for making furniture so here it is californian pines the oldest tree are the californian pines some of them are more than 4500 years old this californian pines are more than 4500 years old now see the age of a tree can be told by counting the rings in its trunk in most trees new wood is formed each year in the form of a ring outside the wood of the previous year these rings are seen on the sawn trunk of a tree are circular in shape each ring in the trunk represents one year of the tree's life by counting the rings we can tell the age of a tree here the age of a tree can be told by counting the rings in its trunk first you understood trunk as i told you just now trunk the thick central part of a tree the thick central part of a tree that the branches grow from so there is a trunk you can see here this is called trunk and see here these are the rings one ring two ring three four five six like this okay you can count the rings here what is saying the age of a tree can be told by counting the rings in its trunk in most trees new wood is formed each year in the form of a ring outside the wood of the previous year means every year one ring formed one wood ring formed on the previous year ring and these rings are seen these rings are seen when when we shown trunk of a tree shown means here you can see cut with a saw cut with a saw saw is a tool for cutting wood saw is a tool for cutting wood so when you cut this you can see you can see the circular shape circular shape of ring in the trunk now each ring in the trunk represent 
वन ईयर ऑफ द ट्रीज लाइफ वन ईयर ऑफ द ट्रीज लाइफ इट मीन्स यू कैन काउंट द लिंक्स इट वुड बी अंडरस्टूड हाउ मेनी ईयर्स ओल्ड ऑफ दिस ट्री ईच रिंग इज इन द ट्रांक रिप्रेजेंट वन ईयर ऑफ द ट्रीज लाइफ एंड बाई काउंटिंग द रिंग्स वी कैन अंडरस्टूड द एज ऑफ ए ट्री वन रिंग वन ईयर टू रिंग टू ईयर्स लाइक दिस वी कैन काउंट ना इन अ ईयर ऑफ गुड रेन फॉल द रिंग फॉर्म इज थिकर दैन द वन फॉर्म इन अ ईयर ऑफ रेस रेन फॉल दस the rings of a tree can also serve as a chart of rainfall here it is saying these rings is form thicker when good rainfall and when less rainfall there would be thinner layer of this ring and this the layer the thicker layer is showing heavy rainfall and thinner layer is showing less rainfall or no rainfall okay so this is also showing chart of a rainfall thus the rings of a tree can also serve as a chart of a rainfall okay now now let's see in brief how useful trees are for us in fact without trees no life would be possible on this earth it is difficult to imagine what a bleak world it would be if there were no trees now let's see in brief now it is saying now we have to understood in brief how useful trees are for us we all know that trees are very useful for us without trees we cannot get anything to eat we are we will not get any air to breathe so trees are very useful for us in fact without trees no life would be possible on this earth it's true trees are given us oxygen and we are taking oxygen we are taking oxygen from where from the trees so trees are very useful for us without trees we are not able to live we are not able to breathe it is difficult to imagine what a bleak bleak means you can see here miserable discouraging means it is difficult to imagine how miserable it would be this world without tree means without tree this world would be miserable okay now see men in olden days used wood for making their homes rafts canoes and weapons they used it as fuel to cook and to keep themselves warm in addition to wood man was dependent on trees for many other things also he got from them fruits and nuts for his food leaves of the palm and other trees were used for thatching roofs the bark and the leaves of trees were used for clothing utensils were made from calabashes coconuts 
and the shells of other fruits a number of medicine dyes tanning material and spices were obtained from tree in this paragraph many uses are given many uses of trees what we are getting from trees this i will explain in next video okay now i'm going to stop this